right oh, into his shoe. what is this? <laughs> Why have we never watched this movie before? Oh my god, his little bod. I am gagged right now. Oh my god. This movie's too much. I feel embarrassed <laughs> and ashamed. Oh, I don't. Hey, Petty Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We're back, and we are so excited for a first-time watch yes. of the talented Mr. Ripley. This is a movie that Wes has been wanting to watch for so long. So We've long. always wanted to watch it. I've never seen it. So excited. Yes. I don't know anything about Mr. Ripley or his talent, but let's <laughs> hope that he has charisma, uniqueness, and nerve to oh. go along with it. <laughs> Something tells me he does. He better. Listen, I don't know anything about this movie either other than a few pics I've seen that were honestly sexy. Okay? I don't even think I've seen the pics. Like, <laughs> I've, I've seen I don't know pics. anything. I don't know a plot detail. I don't know who wrote it. I don't know who's in it. I do know it was nominated for some Oscars. Yes, which we love a prestigious film. Of, of course. course. Yes, so I'm just excited to watch this movie. I don't really Neat. have anything else to say because, no. like you said, don't know the plot, don't know the cast. Don't know. Don't know anything, but we're about to know everything. <laughs> Sing it, girl. My God. <laughs> okay, shards of Matthew Damon, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, Jude Law. Oh Gwyneth God. Paltrow, okay, come Matt through, all star cast. Eating, I'm afraid. Afraid? No, no. Oh, oh my god. He's multifaceted, So many sweetie. things. Wow. How talented is he? If I could rub everything out, starting with myself. Rub everything out? Please do. Or everyone. Starting with borrowing a jacket. Kate Blanchett? Oh, wow. bitch. This movie automatically A+. Oh my god. He's so young. I know. Yes, ma'am. She went off. She ate that opera right up, honey. Most enjoyable. Herbert Green. Tom Ripley. How do you do? We're at Princeton. Most likely you'll know our son, Dick. Oh. <laughs> we know all about him. We all know about Dickie. <laughs> How is Dickie? This is tripping me out. Just even though nothing is really happening, but... Everything's happening. Exactly. <gasps> Loving him was red. <laughs> a couple, aren't they? Yes, they are. My grandpa had a Chevy just like that. Oh, go off, grandpa. Literally. Thanks a lot for the jacket. Thanks for filling in for me. Take care of that wrist. And listen, real quick, I just want to say I do not like Matthew Damon, but I will be disrespectfully thirsting, okay? I it mean, is what it is. Yeah, this was before we knew. Listen, <laughs> he's here in front of my eyes, and I can't help. Wait, what did he do again? He said that he was using the word until last year when his daughter told him that he can't say that. Right, happy Pride Month. Like what? <laughs> I don't fuck with that. How disappointing, Matt. You can like him, that's fine. Personally, I will be thirsting from afar. The talented Mr. Homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, and I'm just gonna say it right now, this movie is gay. It's been extremely oh. gay already. Well, I've heard that it is gay. Well, they can't stop touching each other. Who can? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's you thirsting from afar. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I have to say, I'm very drawn to this man, Mr. Ripley. Mr. He certainly is talented. Sorry. Rip me. <laughs> so sorry. You've probably heard Dickie's been living in Italy. That's my son's talent, spending his allowance. Did you ever oh, conceive I mean, of going to Italy, Tom? Who wouldn't want to spend Daddy's money? My son to come home. I'd pay you. Oh, please do. Look at that jacket, sweetie. <laughs> this is an emergency. I have always wanted to go to Europe, sir. Good. Sugar daddy. Oh my God. He literally is. He saw that corduroy jacket and he thought this boy <laughs> needs a miracle. He said this is a crisis, but I'm on the case. But I love the corduroy, don't get me wrong. No, no, it's a look. Soundtrack already is like, has my ass popping. Love that. <laughs> Booty cheeks clapped. <laughs> when I have to twerk, I have to twerk. <gasps> Oh my. Why is he black? Blue folded? velvet. Bluer than velvet was the night. <laughs> what is he doing? He is really cute. He's really, it's, he looks, you know, dorky. Yeah. It's like Anthony Michael Hallish, you know? Oh, like Anthony 80s. Michael Hallish. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Is this a mystery? Because I'm like... I think it's like mystery, thriller, suspense. I'm like, what clues do I need to be looking for, sweetie? Dick! I spotted it. <laughs> Found it. You're pretty good at finding it. <laughs> oh Some might say you got a nose for it, honey. <laughs> Oh my god, she is so gorgeous. Wait, pause. Is this the first time we've had Kate on the channel? This is the first time Kate Blanchett has ever graced our oh, channel. This is just, major. This is monumental. Listen, Ugh. we love Kate, like an all-time fave. Adore. You know, Melanie just... Linsky levels of love. Oh, truly. That's like a fucking high bar to clear, bitch. Mm -hmm. But she's clear it. Oh, she always does. Mm -hmm. oh, she's I'm like, stunning. I know, just looking she's at her, everything. I'm like, I don't even want to press play because I just want to fucking stare at her. Oh, she's oh, looking. She is honestly us. She came, she saw, she conquered her. What's your secret? <gasps> Excuse me? No, it's just that I have so much luggage and you're so um, streamlined. It's oh. humiliating. Oh my god. She is down bad for him. Meredith, by the way. <gasps> Hello. Dickie. <gasps> Meredith Randall. Dickie. Um, Dickie Greenleaf. Hello. Well, not identity theft the first 10 minutes in, bitch. Did they put your cases in the wrong pile? It's just that, uh, you were in the R stand. Well, I thought I saw you there. Clock. I love her. She knows you're not who you're saying you are, sir. She's a spy. <laughs> she has him fucking clocked. Like, she worked for the CIA? Literally. I'm Logue. As in, as in the textile logs. Oh, so she's rich. I travel under Mom's got too. money. We have partners in disguise. <laughs> oh my god. That felt what? too um, uncoincidental felt to contrived. me. Like, what was she up to? I don't know what's up with her, but I like it. What's up is her Oscar nomination <laughs> and win count. <laughs> she is one of the best. I had no idea that we were getting an Italian setting for this movie. Oh. I thought we were just getting it, the men easy on the eyes, but they said, here's the scenery too, sweetie. And here's a donkey to go right along with it. I'll take it. I'll take two. Two asses, please. Two asses, please. That's right. Two asses coming up. <laughs> La fidanzata. Oh. No faccia. Beyonce has a face. <gasps> Talk Italian to me. Oh. oh, is that Judy, Gwen? Judy, oh Judy, 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 and Gwen, sweetie. Gwyneth, I didn't even notice. How could you not? Wow, the goop is gagging. Oh, not her vagina smell. Candle. <laughs> oh my god. This is my face. Wow, he's so pretty. Is this the hottest man to ever be on a movie? Jude, it's against the law to look that hot. <laughs> Oh my god, that just killed me. That just killed me so bad. His bare feet in the sand, right oh, into his Oh, what <gasps> is this? <laughs> Why have we never watched this movie before? I oh my god, gagged. his little bod. I am gagged right now. Oh my god. This movie's too much. I feel embarrassed <laughs> and ashamed. Oh, I don't. Those neon green swimmers. <laughs> Uh, it's Tom. Tom Ripley. We were at Princeton together. Okay. This is Marge Sherwood. Um, sorry, what is it? Ripley. How do you do? How do you do, Marge? Oh, Marge. My, this is so trippy. Where's her blue hair? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing much. It's passing through. <laughs> passing through. The casting directors of this movie <laughs> were horny. <laughs> they need help. Will you come and have lunch with us before you go? Oh, oh you not a should. foreign girl. Where is she from? Coincidence. I don't remember. Jude is so golden. That's so funny. Like, the definition of golden boy. Midas, touch me. <laughs> oh my god. The sun kissed skin, honey. I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been hiding? Today you're looking for me. Huh? And where have you been the rest of the week? Sir. Oh, no, no, no. That. Does no, Miss Marge know about this? Huh? Surely not. Hold on to she hates him. Did you suddenly forget where I live? I know I'm late. Wow, oh he God. is a two-timer, and Mr. Ripley knows. I'm 
little start. Wow. Fausto and I, we took the boat out. We were fishing, and then it was dawn, and we caught absolutely nothing. Don't yes. buy it, bitch. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, my God. You disappeared. We were going to send out a search party. <laughs> oh. No, I'm still here. Tom was telling me about his journey over. <laughs> Made me laugh so hard, I almost got a nosebleed. Is that good? Something's up with everyone in this movie. Everyone's sus. The tension is everywhere. Can you make some martini? <gasps> he said get to work, sweetie. <sighs> He's not your butler. I make a fabulous martini. Okay, Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Make it a double. Everybody should have one talent. What's yours? <gasps> Forging signatures. Uh, telling lies. Impersonating practically anybody. Oh, why is he well, telling him this? We should have more than one talent. I love that. The only talent my son has is for cashing his allowance. <gasps> oh my god. Well, Not daddy. Oh, I like to sail. Believe me, I love to sail. Stop! Other people sail them. It's too much. You're making all the hairs on my neck stand up. I feel like he's here. The way his oh, face moves is scary. Here right now. Yeah. He is a very scary man, I have to say. Really? Matt Damon, more like Matt Demon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I met him uh, in New York. Mars, Mars, this is scary. Gotta yeah. Meet my father. Oh, he's daddy. Yeah, I was gonna say he's one step closer to daddy. Could you ever conceive of going to Italy, Tom, bringing him back? He's falling in love. What? I'd pay you a thousand dollars. Oop. I'm never going back. <gasps> It'll actually hire somebody. Daddy needs you this home, is son. Crazy. So it's already like subverting your expectations because you think he's comes to get him home, but he already told him. Mm -hmm. What are they gonna scheme up? Oh no. This is what makes me boil about him. He wants me back. Oh, well, who wouldn't? True. It's a compliment, sweetie. Go back to New York. <gasps> yes. Oh. Hi, Tom saying goodbye. You're off? What are your plans? Oh, back, I suppose, as slow as I can. Oh. <gasps> like Why jazz? is he keeping... Is there, are those records? Honey, he planted these. He already knew his favorite music. The talented Mr. Manipulator. Mm -hmm. The manipulative Mr. Ripley. Okay. Okay, we're going to Naples. It's a club. It's not a club. It's he a is seven. obsessed. Yes, it's vile. Don't worry, you don't have to. It's great. It's, it's great. He just uninvited her. Oh my god, this movie is moving so fast. I'm like, it's like a ping pong ball. Okay, Jazz. His little hat. Oh! Oh my god. Whoa! Honey. What did we say about this movie? Whoa. Oh, he is just with every woman he pleases. Oh my. Wow. This is so charged. <laughs> uh, homosexually. Look at them. Homosexually charged. What did they do after this? What didn't they do, baby? The chemistry is electric. It's making molecules, bitch. <laughs> Mr. Ripley. Oh my god. They put their jazz ussies into this. Truly, fully fledged all the way out, honey. Open air. Air it out. They're gonna need to do that after all this sexual tension between them. <gasps> Thomas Ripley. A stolen kiss in the night. Oh boy, you overslept. Y'all were up all night. You always take your letters? The room's upstairs at the back. I think Aunt Melinda made up the bed. This is so good of you. Don't say it again. <laughs> now that you're a double agent, and we're gonna string my dad along, what if we were to buy a car with your expense money? Okay. I feel like one of them is gonna end up, or they're both gonna end up double crossing each other, but it's just like, who's gonna come out on top? I feel like, <laughs> right now I'm predicting that Mr. Tom is gonna get one over True, on uh, Mr. Dickie in the end. Like, I feel like he is the ultimate manipulator Tricky in the end. Dickie. Oh yeah, he's gonna eat, he's gonna eat the dick up. Oh, absolutely, mouthful. No crumbs left. No gag reflex Mouthful, either. No Truly. gag reflex. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I thought we were talking about manipulation. I was. Large. Not these pictures of him. Oh my god. Oh, I like him. <gasps> Norman Bates? Is that you? You like everybody. He Find is scary. Show, He's good though. This is for Tom because he didn't complain. That ring <gasps> is superb. Oh, Tom, I love you. See? Ooh. I had to promise. Capital P. 
never to take it off. I have to get a birthday present for Francis, so perhaps you could help me. Who's Francis? You're my fiance. <clears throat> Engaged? He is not engaged to a woman. Oh, you cannot tell me that. Well, I think he is, darling. I think he's lying. Say when to pull. Pull now. Pull. It's not pulling. I'm doing it wrong. Oh. Why do I feel like they're going to push her off the boat and run oh off together? Oh, my God. It's only a matter of time before they consummate their love. Like, I just... <laughs> if they don't, I'm going to be a little upset. I have to see Venice. Venice is on the list. And Rome. So they're just gonna travel Europe together, mm. okay? Christmas, we're planning a skiing trip to Cortina. <gasps> excellent skiing, excellent. He looks he jealous. He is. He said, where's he said, the where's invite? Where's the invite? Yeah, truly. When I say Alessandra. Oh, to go shopping for fruits and vegetables on the streets of Italy. Like, that's the dream. Well, Dickie's dreaming about balls, of course. <laughs> He's playing with them. I'm sorry, it's giving beard. Overgrown beard. Mm -hmm. Needs to be trimmed, trimmed, shaven, honey. Let her go. They're, yep, they're, they're, she, they're running off together. <gasps> Not this lady. <gasps> Let her sell her fucking fruit in peace, please. And you go be a fruit. <laughs> in private, please. <laughs> this is so romantic. Yes. Oh my god. Fruit straight off the vine. <gasps> Where is Matt Damon's jazz album? <laughs> the Grammy is waiting for him. <laughs> a soft little whimper of a voice. <laughs> I'm here for it. Soft but powerful. Why is jazz so sensual between two men? <laughs> Something about it! Oh my god! Fuck this icebox, I love it so much. The icebox? That's what He's you want to fuck? Okay. I love the fact that you brought Shakespeare with you but no clothes. Dicky. He just wanted to write it. Without the glasses, you're not even ugly. How do I look? I'm feeling oh my. something. <laughs> Can oh. we get them a nice <laughs> bottle of wine, please? Oh, I was gonna say, get them a room. <laughs> First and second, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's playing chess. Well, Dickie's playing checkers. Got a little candle lit. Mm -hmm. Oh, glass of wine. <gasps> this is a They're date in a bag. Are we fucking kidding? Are they both in? Oh. What is this rated? The Oscar voters were feeling horny too, yeah. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. This is rated NR, bitch. Or XXX, depending on how you like it. Cool, can I get in? <gasps> oh! You sure can. I didn't mean with you in it. <laughs> I am literally. <laughs> he wants to! Shaking. <gasps> get in. <gasps> I'm like a prude anyway. Oh. oh, I saw it. My. I fucking saw it. God. How could you not see oh, it? Oh, hello. Wow. <gasps> My God. The smitten Mr. Ripley. The voyeuristic <laughs> Mr. Ripley. <laughs> well, he obviously likes to have his ego stroked. stroked yes. Mm -hmm. Among other things. So. The queer baiting Mr. Ripley. <laughs> We'll take anything we can get. I miss you. <laughs> when are you coming home? How much you love Dickie? <laughs> How oh, much I'm, do you love Dickie? I'm sure he's telling Fran all about that. Oh, poor Franny. Franny's never gonna see that Fanny. Franny needs a new Manny. <laughs> You've gotta get a new jacket. Oh, I've been telling him We're from begging. the start. We're begging. I can't. I can't keep spending your father's money. I love how it's Oh, I think you can. You can and you will. Dad, you should. Let me buy you a jacket. When we get to Rome, it's a great place. Oh, to suddenly Ripley's got a sugar daddy. Roman Multiple. jacket. Okay, yes. Ripley takes Rome. <laughs> They're going to Rome to roam each other's bodies, I mean. You can only hope. <laughs> Apologies to the people who thought they were going to watch a straight reaction. Oh my god. It's not what you're getting. Honey, we told y'all from the beginning. This is probably going to be our thirstiest video, and I it hope it is. Be. I what hope it is. The question is where do we I hope Freddie made a reservation. Who's Freddie? Freddie Miles. He's jealous oh, of he Freddie. Who is he? 
Oh, oh my god, what? Philip! Uh, don't you want to fuck everyone you see just once? <gasps> oh my god, Philip! Absolutely. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. got table outside of Tommy. Keep up, honey, please. What is going on in there? Next thing you know, it's gonna start steaming up like the car in Titanic. Freddy's arranged it with some of the skiing crowd. I feel like Freddy's gonna be a problem in their relationship. Oh. Well, Freddy is obviously in love, so yeah. That's fine. Three doesn't always have to be a crowd. Ask Brittany. <gasps> this boy is not let up. Sure you didn't miss the train? <gasps> yes, Daddy. <laughs> I'm oh not my. at this point in the, this movie already has me where I'm like, yeah, not shocked because I'm just operating on the basis that everyone in this movie is a homosexual. They're queer, I fear, <laughs> and I actually don't fear it at all. No, I am here for it. We celebrate it. Happy Pride. <gasps> Be the only one to say he's so flamboyant in this movie, it's so wild seeing this compared to like the movies he's making now. Mm -hmm. Like this is giving me as a 10 year old in my bedroom, Truly. listening to High School Musical, honey, please. <gasps> Sweetie, gagged. Oh, don't cover up now. Why be modest? Do you have my shoes on too? Of course. He's trying on your wardrobe. He you said he could. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything. I was just fooling around. Oh, please, as if Dickie's not doing this every night at 2 a.m. Oh, my God. Come join us. Now, I want this job of yours, Tommy. You live in Italy. You uh, stay at Dickie's house. You eat Dickie's food. And his father picks up the tab. Oh, what about it? Get bored, you let me know. I'll do it. Oh, sweetie, don't you think that you'd already be in that position if you wanted you? There's only one sugar baby, and his name is Tom, the sugary sweet Mr. Ripley. This is so... Stunning? Well, I'm just, like, emotionally, I feel a little invested. Yeah. Like, obviously they're in love, and now he's, like, hurt. I know. Or is he? I don't think he is. I don't think he really has real emotions. Am I just projecting? It's glorious. And then he forgets you when it's very, very cold. When you have his attention, you feel like you're the only person in the world. That's why everybody loves him. She said, you're not the Especially only one. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. She's been burned before. Planting the seeds. Like, what are her intentions? Is she good? She knows. Yeah, like, she's too Look rich to this. not know. When men play, they always play at killing each other. Mm -hmm. Tell it, sister. Me. Sorry about Cortina, by the way. <gasps> Cortina? What about Cortina? Didn't Dick say? Dick didn't say shit. He, he spoke to Freddy, and, and apparently it's not going to work out. Well, it's because it, everyone else can ski, and it affects where you stay. <gasps> oh, so he's uninvited. Mm -hmm. Damn, he didn't even tell him. He's a little bitch. We stick around for the festival of the Madonna. The whole town comes out. Well, ladies. <laughs> Wow. Where you going? Man ain't shit. Large maintenance. Maintenance that you cause to have to do. Yeah. Like, let's not get it twisted here. A little quality time between Mr. Ripley and Frank. Let's be frank here. <gasps> wow. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Sir. Tommy. How's the peeping? <gasps> Cut. Little peeping Tom for you. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Truly, literally, the, the peeping. <laughs> I was like the Mr. peeping Ripley. Mr. Tom Ripley. The peep has pepped. The talented peeper. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of <laughs> Peter's pickles. It's down there. <gasps> oh no! Oh my God! Who the fuck is that? That's the lady that was selling fruit, I think. <gasps> Oh my fucking god. Who the fuck is gonna sell them fruit now? <laughs> she was very important to this community. Cause she brushed off his advances. What happened? Who killed her? Was it Dickie? Or was it Tom? Because he's like, this boy has too many connections. Yep. I've gotta start cutting them off one by one. I I've think gotta so. get them all he wants, alone. Exactly. He wants to be he wants to have them all to himself. He wants to be that bitch. Oh my god. I mean who wouldn't? Yeah, I mean he already is that bitch. Every time he would look in my eyes, I would simply melt like butter. Butter? Butter all over a fucking pancake, honey. honey. Fluffy and yummy, eat it up. Fuck. Yeah. Wow.
Tom Ripley just truly ripping it up. This movie is really good. This poor woman who fucking killed her. Uh, it's Tom. I really feel like it is. This is tragic. Like, honestly, ripped to a staple of the community. The fucked up Mr. Ripley if he did this. Is someone getting an ambulance? Why don't you? Because he just expects everyone to do everything for him. Oh, he has feelings. He's crying. It's like, what's going on behind those eyes, though, because... Behind those hazel eyes. Kelly Clarkson tried to tell us. <laughs> I don't know why people say this country is civilized. It isn't. It's fucking primitive. Oh my god. If you go back, you can actually see his dicky. Oh. You're paying attention. Oh, let me put on my glasses a little further. It isn't. It's fucking <gasps> primitive. <laughs> there it was. Something jumped out. <laughs> Don't ask me the color of anything. <laughs> I know why you're upset. I know about Solana, Vicky. Tell him. Oh, sweetie. There's evidence oh, everywhere. You don't have to clean up! Really? I don't love her squirrel. Pregnant. Did you know that? <gasps> she was pregnant? Yeah, he probably did know that. Wow. Do you know means in a place like this? Oh my god, he probably did know somehow and he... Yeah. Fucked her up. You've been so good to me. You're the brother I never had. Brother? I'm the brother you never had. You know what the relationship is. New definition to brotherly love. <laughs> Came to me for help. I didn't help. Wow, you piece of shit. Now she's drowned herself. And it's my fault. Oh, he did it. She drowned herself? He's so arrogant to think, too, that it's. Did you know, she drown herself over him? Over him, yeah. You think you're that spectacular? It's a secret between us, Dickie. <gasps> and I'll keep it. One secret of many. This look on Jude is doing something. I didn't even realize that was him, to be honest. I thought that was someone else. He looked bald. But now I see the hair, I see the vision. Oh, you've got to go to Venice. I don't think so, Tom. You can't pay your own way, can you? It's time we all moved on. Oh, fuck, you said you're cut off. Grab the scissors. It would be great, though, if you came with me to San Remo. There's a great jazz festival. We can say goodbye in style. <gasps> Not him leaning in for the kiss. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> wow. He made a move. He really said, let's get it on in the train car. You know? Look at him. Oh my god. Fully obsessed. Why did you do that thing with your neck? <gasps> what thing? Spook. Oh my god. <gasps> this is why this movie was nominated for Oscars. Because it's spectacular. Stunning. Like, everything just se like is so seamlessly put together. The transitions, the music, the production design, the costumes. I mean, the, the acting is there too. The acting is number one. The script. Cinema fucking photography, bitch. Yeah. You're cheerful tonight. I'm suddenly quite happy to be going back. Did I know you at first in time? I don't think I did, did I? You know. He's on to him. Yeah. Why are you asking all of a sudden? No reason. Because you're leaving, I guess. I don't think you were there. Why? I mean it as a compliment. And I'll take it as a compliment. I knew it. I knew it. Marge and I had a bet. Damn. They were talking about you, bitch. Poor boy. He thought he had him fooled. Yep. Do you even like jazz? No. What well, do you think? He likes I it now. Oh, that's right. What do you think about the drum? There's so much tension. It's like so loud and they're screaming and I'm, my heart is pulsing. This feels dangerous. Okay. That was a lot. Why are they out in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. <gasps> oh, he's dumb as fuck. Okay. Why did he take them all the way out there? Because he's gonna kill him. They just wanted to be alone. Or he wants to fuck where no one can find out. Well, I thought I'd come back in the new year under my own steam. Honey, you don't have any steam to give. It's still liquid water. Or say we split the rent. <gasps> I could get a job. Oh, okay. roomies in Rome. Okay. He's a He's bold. Particularly with the Marge problem. 
You oh, just blame me. He said, let's get rid of her. Marge and I are getting married. Yesterday, you're ogling girls on the terrace. If today, you're getting married? That's absurd. I Locked. love Marge. You love me. You're not marrying me. <gasps> I don't love you. No, I, I think oh. that is a threat. To be honest, I'm, I'm a little relieved you're going. <gasps> oh. We've seen enough of each other for a while. <laughs> he said, I'm fucking sick of you. Wow, he fucked up telling him that. You can be a leech. <gasps> You know the Oh my god. Leech. Sucking the blood. You can be quite boring. <gasps> it's because he doesn't have a personality. He's just a chameleon of whoever he's yep. around, I feel like. Yep. I've been absolutely honest with you about my feelings. Boring. Oh, have you? But you, first of all, I know there's something. That evening when we played chess, for instance, it was obvious. Oh what evening? Oh, sure, god. no, no, it's too dangerous for you to take on. And then you do this sordid thing with Marge, fucking on the boat while we all have to listen, which was excruciating. And you follow your <laughs> around like a. And now you're getting married. Oh my god, you tell him! You're ruining everybody. You, you want to play the sax, you want to play the drums. Which is it, Dickie? What are you actually playing? <laughs> oh. <Who are> you? <gasps> do it again. Who are you? Who are you to say anything to me? Actually, I really, really do not want to be on this boat with you. Oh my god. Without. You give me the creeps. Is he gonna kill him? I feel like he is. Is he gonna become him? Oh god. Oh, we have to get you. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. He really is going to kill him! <gasps> please just kiss and make up. Please. please, uh, please. <gasps> <gasps> oh, he fucking snapped. Oh. The talented Mr. Rest in Peacely. You mean the murderous Mr. Ripley. Oh my god, the talented Mr. Rip your skin off your face, Lee. I cannot believe he just fucking killed him. I kinda- I like- ex as soon as they were out there, I was like, someone's dying. He professed his love for him and then was turned down and then he got killed. Damn. I literally- I'm shaken to my fucking core. It's like a good day And the boat up. is covered in blood. Yeah, what is he like gonna do? You have to sink the boat. Oh. My fucking god. Oh. Oh my god, this is you know he pulled his tragic, arm over him. Tragedy, bitch. I, I don't know what to think. I'm kind of sad because he was so hot. He was. Like, oh my god, in the blood-stained white pants. What's he gonna tell daddy? Oh, but he types letters so he can just keep pretending to fucking be him. Yep. He's gonna, oh my god, yeah, That he's... boat did not sink far enough out. No. I really think he's gonna start pretending to be him. Cause he was like practicing the impersonation. Well, but what's he gonna tell Marge? He's not bringing his son back to daddy anytime soon. No. Maybe in a body bag. After he's been found in the ocean. I cannot believe Jude is gone. Amazing performance from Jude. Truly. Like. Amazing performance from both of them. Yeah, I yeah, that am... was really good. I will never forget that scene. Like, no. seared in the brain. Uh, Senor Greenleaf, yes? No. Say it. Dicky, come on. You know it's Dick you. Greenly. Wow. Another tragic gay. <laughs> Listen, this gay tragedy is all on his shoulders, okay? It is. He didn't have to do that. No, this is a murderous gay on the rampage, honey. He just couldn't take the rejection. Yeah, he really couldn't. Like, he was fully in love. Oh, yeah. Infatuated. Oh, and he said that he's really good at forging signatures. <laughs> okay, Veronica Sawyer. But let's be clear, Veronica would eat him up too, okay? Oh, she would. Hello, Marge. <laughs> My god. Where's Dickie? I think he's planning on staying in Rome. <gasps> Did he say why? I don't understand, Dickie. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, what does that mean? Oh. One day I'm invited skiing. It's just like she already knows that he was the last person that was with him, One day so... He was thinking of you. He asked me to deliver this. I'm <laughs> beyond myself right now. Like, you cannot keep up this facade forever. Aaron number two. Packs some clothes and his precious saxophone. Well, how long is he sick? Search me. I guess we're abandoned. <laughs> Hopefully the gears are turning. 
She's got to get rid of him, too. Oh my god, is she gonna get rid of Tom? That's how I need this to end. It needs to. But honestly, where is Catherine Blanchett? Because we need her now more than ever. Oh. You know, Lydia Tarr would get the job done. My god. She... <laughs> and she thinks his name is Dick. Are you okay? Wow. There was a letter from Dick Ian with my perfume. You realize it's more than just a few days. The night before he left, we... We talked about moving together somewhere north, and I, I suppose I put some pressure on him about getting married. That's so sad. I just might have scared him off. There's a side to him when our heads are on the pillow. I know no one else sees that's so tender. Oh, don't be telling him that, that he never got to experience I think I that. I come with you to Rome and confront him. He hates being confronted. He fucked up. I think you're right. Like, I'm just so curious, is he gonna get away with it, or are they gonna get rid of him? You gotta find a new boy toy to yeah. obsess over. Yeah, him. literally. Your green calls welcome back. <gasps> He's got himself a new suit. Yeah, I'm sure he took it straight out of Dickie's closet. I want to speak to Thomas Ripley. He's not there. Well, I would like to leave a message. He's not there. I'll, I'll leave a message. Got your call. Dinner tonight sounds fine. Ripley. Yes. Greenleaf. What a little scammer. You have to admire it. But how far can he go? Well, you know, before he gets caught up in it. <gasps> oh my god, thank god. This is just quite serendipitous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Meredith. Ciao. Meredith. Ciao, baby. Is Freddy in Rome? Freddy is an issue. Oh, Freddy's gotta go. Freddy's gonna be miles under the sea. Freddy? More like Daddy. I've left Marge. Meredith. And Monty. He needs to leave her alone. I swear if he touches her, she is gonna be, fuck him up. She's gonna be the savior. I, I hope so. She's giving angelic. You only truly comfortable around other people who have it and despise it. He's gonna go get rid of Freddy. I've never admitted that to anyone. You're admitting shit to the wrong person. Okay, don't trust this man. Forgery at its finest. Clean out the account, honestly. Yes. Take the money and run. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Is he trying to catch her eye? You leave this no, poor woman me. alone. Do you absolutely hate the opera? How could you? I've been trying to give my tickets away. It's oh. tomorrow. If he starts like becoming a thing with her, I'm gonna fully believe yeah. that he doesn't really love anyone. <laughs> right. Kind of like you were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Like that he wasn't maybe actually in love with him. Right. Or he was, but he just becomes obsessed with people maybe. Mm -hmm. And it's not a sexuality thing, it's more of just like a... Compulsion. Yeah, like a, obsessive. A, a mental illness. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love a stage play. Glitter and be gay, honey. Oh, she's eating. Take me to the opera. Oh, Mr. Musket. What a shootout. <laughs> a little too close to home now, is it, Ripley? Not the PTSD. But Mr. Ripley didn't belt out a sweet tune after... <gasps> oh my god. Wow. <gasps> That's really cool. That's great. Okay, so he's not as together as we maybe thought. Mm -hmm. He's unraveling a bit. He still could have belted out a sweet tune after the murder, though. <sighs> he loved him. Or maybe he's inspired. I, I think he did. I think he, he loved did. Him. I think that did it for me. Can you bear it? Me or your friend of Freddy's? He has I Hate Opera tattooed on his chest. Jeff, Dick is Herbert Greenleaf's boy. I know. He's like, all right, gotta go find Freddy. <laughs> Oh, um. oh my! <gasps> Tom, March, how are you? What, what, what are you doing alone? Oh, Hello. he's wearing his rings. No, no, no glasses. Well, March, you know Dicky has I hate opera tattooed on his chest. How about you're going to Venice? He's just like a copy and paste board of he things is. that other people say and do. Get out of there! I really am. I'm, I've been traveling. Oh I'm no, and then she's gonna see Marge, and she's gonna say, Oh, I just saw Dicky. He was just here. I feel like he likes the thrill. He does. She's onto him. Yeah, look at her. Hello, there's Meredith. Meredith. 
Get the fuck out of there, Ripley. Or get caught. Get caught. I don't care. Please. This woman invented goop, okay? She's not fucking around here. Literally. She has a candle that smells like her. Get with it. So we'll see you in the morning, March. 10.30? I love the red lip on Gwyneth. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm She's serving. It's a nice touch. And the earrings and the draw- like, she's looking she's fat. She's just so elegant. Mm -hmm. How is he still here? Because he's dumb as fuck. I need to talk to you. Just the two of us. Okay. <gasps> it's like Marge is here right now. I look at you and I see her face. No matter what I'm feeling towards you, no, I just got I, I, I absolutely understand. Otherwise, you'd be fighting me off. He is so extra for no reason. He is. And also, her earrings are snowflakes. I love her. He is- I'm sorry, but I just have to say, he is no Dick Greenlee, okay? He's, he's not, not. He's not. He he's never will not. be. He's just not. He doesn't have the golden curl. No. You know, he just doesn't have the sun-kissed skin. He's not that golden girl. No, he's not. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, but we are not thanking him for being a friend, honey. We are not. And we're not thanking him for taking away Mr. Greenlee from our eyeballs no, on this very, movie. Very upsetting. It was rude. But will you meet me tomorrow? Girl, just Please leave all you can. Goodbye. You're making her emotional. I am starting to despise this man. Why don't we have coffee in the morning at Denali's? By the Spanish Steps. Exactly. 10:30. Can't you that does sound hear it in his voice though? He's so fake. Girl, don't fall for him. I don't think I would be charmed by him. No. The way that you would be by the real dick. Maybe in the <laughs> the one and only, the authentic. I was just thinking maybe he was more. I was falling for him maybe more in the beginning, but now that we've seen who he really is, yeah. I wouldn't fall for it. No, more. no. There's no way. No. He's too much. Yeah. No, he's on my fucking last nerve. But I'm also, like, so intrigued by him. I just need to know how the fuck he's gonna escape this. I know. Is he? I don't know. He's talented. I do- I feel like he is gonna get away in the end. Something tells me. I feel like the title is telling us, he, like you just said, he's talented. The tumultuous you know? Mr. Ripley. Yes. Mr. Sipley, more like it. Spill on that tea. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, bitch. My fucking I'm gagged. God, bitch. And she's gonna say, I was just with Dicky yes. last night. And she's gonna say, You were. Oh, yes, I was there. I was there with Dicky. <laughs> and you're like, This is messy. Oh my god, he's gonna need a oh, fucking gosh. strong ass Swiffer to clean up this I mess. Don't know. No, I was supposed to uh, meet him 15 minutes ago, so uh, I'm gonna go now, I think. But then I'm kind of, like, I'm stressed, but I'm enjoying that he got himself in this situation. Do you know Tom Ripley? Oh, no. God! I've heard about him, of course. Oh, my fucking God. Meet him, no. I'm obsessed with what she's wearing. Oh, every costume in this movie is absolutely gorgeous. And that scarf and hat! There is nothing to prevent you from welcoming him back. From marrying him. Wow. Meredith is a great woman. She is. I love her. happy to put a face to a name. Goodbye, Peter. Please, don't get up. Oh. <laughs> get down! He's, he's like, they could have so easily been like, oh, that's Tom Ripley. You mean, no, that's Dickie. It's gonna happen. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. Oh uh, let her get away. Like, she's she did not right there. Set. What if she turned around? You okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Mm. Oh god. I don't believe that. Wild horses couldn't drag. I don't believe he's that. such a bad one actor. Second. He's a terrible actor. I feel guilty. Mars doesn't understand this, but whenever Dicky does something, I feel guilty. He's gonna get himself caught. The layers on layers in this movie. Yeah. Like he has to get rid of her too because she knows. Mm -hmm. You know, she knows Dicky very well. He's always bossing her around to do shit. <gasps> Chestnuts roasting by an open fire. Oh, Merry Christmas to all of us. Let's open that gift. Come on, bust. The bust is busting. <laughs> it's very busty. So he's just like celebrating Christmas at... Where does she think... I guess they think he's in Italy. Where does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Honey, he thinks he's the talented Mr. Ripley. If Maddie's really playing the piano, he gets some extra points from me. I don't know, did we really see his fingers? We didn't. So. <laughs> that answers that question. It's Freddy. Oh, say goodbye. Hope y'all didn't like Freddy too much. He ain't sticking around. Oh my fucking god. Hello, Freddy. It's Tom. Where's Dickie? He's so smug. How are you? Did you see that smirk? Mm hmm. He's like, it's Tom. He said, I'll take it. Incredible. You guys are 
disappeared off the face of the earth. The landlady uh, said he was here right now. Search the place. I, I just, I don't, I don't well, know why you would imagine it. That this is gonna to get see. so bad for him. For me. Frank is no fool. He's to skiing. Uh, cable or honey, the ring doesn't fit. Take it off. Yeah. Well, he's been very involved with his music. Um, he just needs I to say I haven't theory. seen him. Yeah, you know, he gave me the keys to his house. Don't know where he went. I feel like I'm getting all new wrinkles from watching this movie because my brow is like so furrowed. Because I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Are you living here? Maybe they'll have a piano battle. That would be fun. No, no, I'm staying here for a few days. He needs to. He needs to get out. It's a new piano. Probably shouldn't. What is happening? Probably shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> this place come furnished. Is she, you know? So, uh, here's one. Frank, you might want to fucking leave. <gasps> is he gonna use the bus? bus. Oh my god. Excuse we love a busty boy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I literally can't. Well, he's going to. Looks like Dicky. You dumped one into your hair. <gasps> Is there something you'd like to say, Freddy? What? Something's going on. Either he's converted to Christianity. Oh, oh no. It's not that. You probably do know your ass from your elbow. I'll see you. Oh my god. Did he just ask him to put his hand up his ass? That's what I heard. He said all the way to the elbow. Oh my god, that look was so menacing. He yeah. I, I was gonna say he should have killed him then, but... No, <gasps> Is he gonna drop it? Oh my god, don't go back up there! <gasps> He's done. <gasps> oh, he loves bashing people in the head. He loves head. <gasps> he knows how to give it. <laughs> Death by head. I didn't realize we were watching a slasher, but that's three people down. Wow. <gasps> The violent Mr. Ripley. The sociopathic Mr. Ripley. And he's back to wearing that corduroy jacket. Honey, why? Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Is this a Christmas movie? I'm starting to think it is. Technically. I do feel the rump pum pum of <laughs> You know? That's how Jude was making my heart feel. I miss Jude. Me too. Bring him back. We miss Dickie. Strictly dickly in this household. That's right. La polizia. Dicky Greenleaf. Mama. Yes. Inspector Robert. Don't tell them Inspector you're dicky. No, I would have said I'm not dicky. No. So you drove away and uh, you did what? The, the murder weapon is right away. fucking there. How did they get the blood off man. of it? You understand I must ask you to stay in Rome, Senor Greenleaf. Yes. So they found the bottom. <sighs> His first conclusion was that Senor Miles was killed not later than 7 o'clock yesterday evening. Oh. Well, he certainly wasn't dead when he drove away in his car. Where's the car? Boy, you might want to keep riding away. And get away quick, while people think you're someone else. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> he is Damn. not alive. Uh, he's not alive, there's no way. No, he's hallucinating. Oh, he's cracked. Okay. Just like that mirror. Because look, it's a mirror, he's seeing himself. Okay. You know? First he was a dick, now he's the dick. He killed Freddy! <gasps> Marge, when did you get here? Did Tell me the truth. Did he kill him? Freddy? I'd swear he didn't. Of course he did. <sighs> Why would you Wait say that? Here. You should say, I don't know. What? He needs to stop him? pretending that he's in communication he with him. Right. Dickie. Dickie did it. Dickie? My face. There was an argument. And what happens when she tells that to the police? Why? Right. He's, he's really dumb. Much. He's doing too much. Like Are you getting on? What? Get on. I'll, I'll take you to him. He's killing her. Oh my god. He's gonna. He has to. <laughs> But if he kills her, it's gonna look so suspicious. Did all three of them went missing? Yes. Where does he live? But we passed it a few blocks back. It's where the police were. Look, they don't even know I'm in Rome. And I'm not gonna incriminate Dickie. Just don't talk to the police about my face. If they know he hit me and his temper, then he could have hit Fred. I'll catch up with you later. What? He's doing too fucking it's, much. It, the math ain't mathin'. He's giving me two plus two equals five. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna be in the paper. What happened to your face? Nothing. My scooter, I fell off. Getting chased by photographers. These lies aren't good. Out? When did you last see Senor Ripley? A few days ago. Here is a pattern. Two days ago, 
Freddie Miles is dead. He leaves your apartment and is murdered. Yesterday, a little boat is found in San Remo, and the owner tells the police it was stolen on November 7th. We look at hotel records, and we see Dickie Greenleaf is staying in San Remo. That is not a pattern. That's a coincidence. There must be 50 hotels in San Remo. There are probably 100 people renting a boat that day. 31 people. And he's talked to all of them, and you're the only American bitch. He's really... The dick is floppy, okay? Mm-hmm. Flaccid. The flaccid, Mr. Ridley. Let her in. What's the difference? Let her in. No, um, actually, hey, actually, no. Mr. Ripley was handling some business for me. Nor does Mr. Ripley want to marry me. He does not he believe him. Every single day, if I'll marry him and when. Do you keep a photograph of Senor Ripley? I'm not in the habit of carrying around photographs of my male friends. Not him making My their gay relationship canon. It is canon yes. to me. It was short-lived, but... The passion was fierce. It was real. No one has seen Senor Ripley since San Remo. I have. Oh, you, you have, yes. And so is Miss Sherwood. You are right, the coincidence. I look forward to our next meeting, when I will be more careful with my English. I have witnessed some things they saw two men getting into Mr. Miles' car. Oh, my like, God. Tomorrow, then? Oh, he's got himself in a pickle. <gasps> The talented oh, no. Mr. Pickley. He's gonna imitate his voice. <gasps> Dick, Dickie, I was gonna say that I would count to three, and if you didn't open the door, I won't count anymore. Girl, just give it up. On you. I won't count on you anymore. You've broken my heart. Mm. That's so sad that she'll never have closure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Only if he confesses, but... Oh, we know that's not happening. Mm -mm. Damn, he didn't even have to say anything. Nope. My dear Tom, I'm getting out of this. <gasps> Freddy's death. Silvana. I've thought about going to the police, but I can't do it. I can't face it. So, so is he framing him? I wish I could give you the yeah. life I took for granted. And then saying that he, like, fleed or something? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, yeah, good. That's really all he can do at this point. Marge never could. Oh, he's gonna take his shirt. Oh, I suppose that's why I'm he was in love. He looked the really good in that had. shirt. He did. You could see his the abs through the mesh. I ever had. More mesh, please. In all kinds of ways, you're much more like the sun. So my is he stealing wanted. trinkets from him? Of course. I realize you can change the people, change the scenery. <gasps> But you can't change your own rotten self. Now I can't think what to do or where to go. I'm haunted by everything I've done and can't undo. Tom. I'm sorry. I've made a mess of being Dickie Greenleaf, haven't I? <gasps> the shot. Oh my god. <gasps> it's not gonna be that easy though. No. <gasps> Boy, you thought you really fucking thought, and it's not like he can really run because he has his suitcases and stuff. Yeah. The Christmas setting it adds so much. Mm -hmm. Something about December horror is just fucking terrifying. I'm so sorry to put you through this, Peter. I just can't face going to the police by myself when my Italian's so rotten. Don't be so daft. It's fine. I'm delighted you finally made it to Venice. Oh my god. I'm delighted country to rumor that you're still in one piece. What rumor? Oh, you know that Dickie murdered you and is traveling under your passport. <gasps> I know. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Try the other way around, sweetie. Sweetie. So close yet, so far. We're waiting for someone from Rome. What do you mean? They've sent for someone from Rome. I thought that didn't happen in Italy, that each region is separate. I've read, but it's... Well, 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 you've read the papers. You know what a big deal it's been. I don't think he's been reading the papers. Oh, Tommy boy, you're in trouble. He's taken over the case because they're annoyed that the previous chap let Dickie disappear when he was the only suspect in Freddie's murder. Senor Ripley has developed a tendency homosexual. Are you a homosexual? Interesting non sequitur. No. Oh. I mean, we're not putting a label on sexuality, but, no you know, Efficient. the facts speak for themselves. Tell him I have a fiancé. And Dickie has a fiance. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean anything. He's probably had a string of them. Mamma mia. Quante fiancé. 
No, he's Where winning them over. So of course he is. He's asking if you killed Freddie Mars and then killed Dickie Greenleaf. No. Oh, fuck. Is no. he accusing me? It was me? the other way around. Yeah, he's technically he's telling the truth. The way it works mm -hmm. here, it's better to be less violent. Semantics. Semantics. Where's the evidence? What is it? <sighs> Uh, questa the letter è stata trovata nell'abitazione del signor Greenleaf. You opened this? Of course. Come on, actor. Get your chops out. You asked me all these questions and you already read this note? Wow. He thought he was giving an Academy Award performance, but, you know, he's no Kate Blanchett. He's not. Where is she, by the way? Yeah, Bring her back. we need her. I believe oh, that. Like he might have a new love interest. Listen. Well, he's got to have someone else to kill. Imagine if he did kill Freddy. Well, that must be like. <gasps> Imagine. Just to wake up every morning. I mean, how can you? Just wake up and be a person. Drink a coffee. Well, whatever you do, however terrible, however hurtful, it all makes sense, doesn't it? In your head. You never meet anybody who thinks they're a bad person. I don't know, but you're still tormented. I mean, you must be. You killed someone. <gasps> don't you just take the past and put it in a room in the basement and lock the door and never go in there? Um, That's if you're crazy. That's what he does with his multiple personalities. Locks yeah. them in the basement until they're ready to come out. And then you meet someone special, and all you want to do is toss them the key. Say, open up, step inside, because it's dark, and there are demons. Matt, demon. <laughs> anybody saw how ugly it is. Now that's the music talking. It's harder to be bleak if you're playing knees up on the ground. <gasps> he just has... The lips are awfully close to the neck. He has something over all these men. Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to do that. It's the dimples. Fling the door open. If I could take a giant eraser and rub out everything. Right? He loves saying that. Rub out everything. Honey, you need a bottle of lotion? The thing is, Peter, if... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, that sweater is killing. Oh, not the giddiness. <laughs> Came to see him at work. He's obsessed. It's so quick. <gasps> He's honestly giving Andrew Conan a oh, little bit. Just a little. I could see that. It scared yep. me. Yep. Look at what she's wearing. Oh my god. Evidently his stomach. I think the food here is agreeing with him. I love the heart, the heart on the, on the bosom. It is so beautiful. Sure. There's a private detective on the case now. He's already discovered that Dickie cash checks for $1,000 the day before he disappeared. Is that what you do before you jump into the Tiber? I don't think so. Oh my god. Golly. Who's paying for this? Oh. <laughs> Your fiance. I was just thinking about when Tom first came to Montrevello. And look at you now. Hmm. Look at me what? To the manor boy. He's sh shaking. Quite literally. Shaking and quaking, honey. <gasps> oh, that's daddy! Uh, yup. That's daddy. <gasps> Sugar. Daddy. Mr. Greenleaf. Tom. How are you? you oh, well. he's swell. Thank you, sir. What is the detective hoping to find in San Remo? Being thorough. This theory. The letter he left for you. The police I think that's a clear indication he was planning on doing something uh, to himself. I just don't believe that. I'd like to talk to Tom alone. Perhaps this afternoon. Everyone wants alone time with Tom. Yeah, he's gonna and try to fucking caress him too. Tom. And his passport for him. Did you hear? To scratch out his own face like that? Can you imagine? Frame of mind you're gonna have to be in? I've thought about going to the police, but I can't face it. I can't face anything anymore. I feel like I pushed him away. I feel like I spoke and he heard you. Well. <clears throat> He's such a little kidder. What about him pushing us away? No, you, wow. You've been a great friend to my son. Yep. Wow. Everything. A real great friend. Is, but somebody's got to... What, what is the word? You know, the moment someone confronts him, he lashes out. That's true. Oh, wow. He does know his son. So say that you can't choose your parents. But you can't choose your children. Oh. Here's the thing. So, I'm getting the impression... Oh, he's going crazy. Yeah, he's fully hallucinated. Did Dickie have feelings for Tom? And once he was confronted about it, that's why he lashed out yeah. so hard. Well, honey, it's giving internalized homophobia. We see it, it every day. And Tom is very charismatic. Like, I can oh. see how, you know, Dickie would be just as drawn to Tom as Thomas was to the dick. So... I don't know. Yeah. 
There was definitely a pull. It was a push and pull. Lots of pushing. He has fully lost it. Ay, ay, ay. <gasps> Who's knocking? Probably the cops. Oh, okay, okay. He's having an early night. He's living a nightmare, sweetie. Not guilty. I'll fix some drinks. Are you okay? Would you want me to stick around? Of course. No. Do you want to stick around? He does. The answer is clearly yes. Come back. Why is Marge a homo magnet? She really is. <gasps> You're key. This is the gayest shit I've ever seen. When I I didn't know that this was gonna be oh, like that. so much gay subtext. Okay, I was just like kidding at the beginning. It's definitely queer coded. Well, no, it's more than queer coded. It's like it's a fucking lasagna. A queer lasagna. Honey, I saw his noodle. Me too. And it was floppy, just like we said. I found Dickie's rings. Flaccid. You have Dickie's rings. <gasps> What do you gotta say? I can explain. Can you? Promise me he would never take off this ring. Mm -hmm. I have to tell Mr. Greenleaf. March, come on. Tell Mr. Greenleaf. I have to tell Mr. Greenleaf. He promised me, I swear, I will never take what? off this ring. Shut up! <gasps> I'm wet, March. I've lost my towel. And I'd really like to put some clothes on. Go and pour us both a drink. All these people keep confronting him, though, and if I suspected him to be a murderer, a drink. I would not be confronting him. No. You know? Why did he leave those out to be found? Because he's dumb as shit. He thinks he's so smart, and he keeps making mistakes. Messy. So messy. What the fuck is he looking for? A weapon? <gasps> not this place catching on fire. Oh, he's gonna try to slitter. Of course he is. Marge, <gasps> where are you going? Uh-uh, Marge, you know, girl. I wasn't snooping, I just... I was just looking for a needle and thread to mend my bra. <laughs> when he was late, coming back from Rome, I tried to tell you this. He was with another girl. I'm not talking about Meredith, either. Another girl that we met in a bar. He couldn't be faithful. <laughs> for five minutes. So when he makes a promise, it doesn't mean what it means when you make a promise, or I make a promise. He has so many realities. Marge. He, and he believes them all. Take oh, charge. He, Projecting, he's, he has so many realities, he's, bitch. And half the time he doesn't even realize he's doing it. Sure. I would say look in the mirror, but all he's gonna see is the dick. I really started wondering whether he may have killed Freddy. He would get so crazy Boy. if anybody would contradict him. Well, you know. <gasps> Is he cutting his finger? Yeah. You know that. And that's the irony, Marge. Oh my god. I loved you. You may as well know, Marge, I loved you. Oh my god, Marge. I'm right. Maybe it's grotesque of me to say this now, so just write it on a piece of paper or something and put it in your purse for a rainy day. Tom loves me. Oh my god. That's Tom not gonna work. Me. No, he fully thinks Why he's I, take his rings? I told you he gave them to me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's all true. <laughs> Leave a single no, bitch, you piece. say okay and run and tell the cops. Look at you. Marge. Can I hold you? <gasps> no. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Please. Tommy, are you okay? He's not. You try. You try talking to her. Listen, I've heard listen, you one listen, thing that I've ever done to her. Listen, you can't be angry with her. She's confused and she needs someone to blame. So He's she such a little gaslighter manipulator. Go back mm -hmm. home and talk to her. As for you, if you get a safety razor or grow a beard. <gasps> Is Mr. Greenleaf here? Mr. Ripley? He's giving yes. Patrick I'm Bateman in a way. Mm-hmm. Tom? Um, Marge, you should have waited. I didn't... Didn't Peter say I'd come by and pick you up? Marge has Damn. been telling us about the rings. Yes, I feel ridiculous I didn't mention them yesterday. I clean forgot. Ridiculous. 
Perhaps you didn't mention them because there's only one conclusion to be drawn. Oh my god. I'm going to take Marge for a little walk. Uh, there's no need. We could go to the bar. There's no need. No, no. I think you should stay here. Oh, I think This is getting too. so good! The tea is fucking hot in what this is, movie. What can he possibly say to get out of this? Nothing. No, he's, he, he's gonna say something. He's beyond incriminated. Yeah, he is, but... He's talented. It's not the incarcerated Mr. Ripley. I could probably see my room from here. When you see where you live from a distance, it's like a dream, isn't it? I don't care for BS. I don't care to hear it. Period. I don't care to speak it. Thank you, sir. Obsessed with him. He ate him up. Did you know that in Princeton, Dickie Greenleaf half killed a boy? <gasps> at a party over some girl. Kicked the kid several times in the head. <gasps> Put him in the hospital. Boy had a wire fixed in his throat. <gasps> Lost some hearing. He probably had a crush but on him, too. His father sent him to Europe in the first place. Mm -hmm. Nor did they think to check on whether a Thomas Ripley had ever been a student at Princeton University. I turned up a Tom Ripley, who had been a piano tuner in the music department. <gasps> Wait. Before it becomes... Is okay. his name not even Tom it's Ripley? Tom probably Tom not. Tom. Did he kill Tom Ripley? The girl drowns herself? Find out if that girl is pregnant. Find out if Dickie had an embarrassment there. Mr. Greenleaf appreciates your loyalty. He really does. Marge, she has a hundred theories. There are a few things that she doesn't know. We hope she never knows. <gasps> I hope she never knows. Three different people saw Dickie get into Freddie's car. One man will not testify because he was jumping somebody else's wife at the time. Oh, I saw Dickie God. removing license plates from a red sports car. I found these in the basement of Dickie's apartment. <gasps> They belong to Freddie's car. Wow. Mr. Greenleaf has asked me to lose these in the canal this evening. So they think that he did it. Yep. Mr. Greenleaf feels that there was a silent promise in Dickie's letter to you, which he intends to honor. He also intends to transfer a good portion of Dickie's income from his trust into your name. Oh my God. Does not intend. Look at him. To give Look. The Italians any information about Dickie? The talented Mr. Mr. Bitchley. The rich Mr. Ripley. <laughs> The talented Mr. Richley. The talented Mr. Bitch Richley. Rich Bitchley. Wow. This is just the lucky Mr. Ripley at this, this point. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you so much. Doctor. I can't believe he's getting away with this, and they're setting him up for success. Literally played him like a fucking alto saxophone, bitch. They literally said, you, he said, you killed my son, and here's his money. What are you going to do now? Peter has a concert in Athens next month, so he asked me to come along and help out. I know it was you. Mm. I know it was you. Yep. Yes! Fight Club, bitch! Thank you, Marge. Yes, ma'am. That's all I wanted. Please, it's not time. Really. You dumb bitch. Quite honorary the train that we fly. Oh wow. my god. Now he's got a new man. Does he have any emotions? No. Was he ever truly sad about I don't know what you want Dickley? To like nothing. Dickley. I don't know. Dickie? It's hard to tell if he's physically attracted or emotionally attracted or just fully trying to manipulate people and not actually attracted to them at all. Like he's such a fucking mystery. Like someone called the fucking Scooby Doo Gang to figure this out. He's truly an enigma. Okay. Lady Gaga once said, oh. I know that voice can't end the movie without Catherine. Oh my god. Hello, Meredith. You're close. I wouldn't have known you. Well, you spotted me. So you get the reward. What? Girl. Just kidding. Are you alone? Hardly. <gasps> Couldn't be less alone. Aunt Joan. And Co. <sighs> A lot of Co. In not seeing you again. I thought about you. Of course. So much. How could you not, truly? I've thought about you. <gasps> no, he hasn't. Fucking liar. Yeah, well, you thought well, about how to kill her. You, I was mostly hating you. Where have you been hiding? I haven't been hiding. I've been in police custody. They've been trying to flush out Freddy's killer. You're kidding. The whole world thinks you killed Freddy. It's terrible. I know. Listen, I can't talk now. Um, later? Later? 
boy. Sealed with a kiss. Okay, he can't have people thinking he's dick. No. Are you traveling under R? You know what? <laughs> I am. <laughs> you don't say. Dickie, you with Peter Smith Kingsley? I, I bet you are. <gasps> my aunt thought she saw him. Oh my god. Peter Smith Kingsley? No. I haven't seen him in months. Let's go talk to Peter. No, I'm alone. He needs to vanish. Come on. He can't get off that easy. Oh my god, please. He oh, has to man. kill him now. Yeah, he does. Oh my fuck. That's so god. fucking obvious. I want us to stay in here for the rest of the trip. Oh, of course. Was that Meredith? Was who Meredith? Meredith Logue, you were kissing someone who looked like Meredith. <sighs> oh, fuck. I came out to find you. Hardly kissing. Kissing off. I didn't know that way. Oh my god. Another person confronting him. <gasps> I lied. To her. She thought she'd seen you. Why well, lie? <laughs> Dickie and Peter together, that's just too good gossip. Or well, Tom and Peter even. That would be even better gossip. He's gonna strangle him. Hey, uh, yeah! Uh, um, I'm completely lost. Lost at sea. Your body. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. <gasps> I'm lost. I'm gonna be stuck in the basement, aren't I? Yeah. Aren't I? Hopefully so stuck in a jail cell. That's my... Prison. But I'm not getting my hopes up. Terrible. In the world. In the dark. <laughs> and I've lied. <laughs> About who I am. He's confessing. What the fuck? Yeah, because he's gonna kill him. It doesn't even matter. Oh my god, this is no, the villain no, no, no. monologue. <laughs> do you mean lied about who you are? I always thought it would be better to be a fake somebody than a real nobody. nobody. Well, oh my god. Sir. Get over it. You're not a nobody. That's the last thing you want. Aww. We're all nobodies, bitch. That was sweet. Too bad it doesn't matter. Unless you're Gwyneth Goopy Paltrow, you're a nobody. Tell me some good things about Tom Ripley. No, don't get up, don't get up. Don't get up. Just, just tell me some nice things about Tom Ripley. Good oh. things about Tom Ripley. That could take me some time. Oh my fucking god. He's sinister. Tom is talented. He's talented and tender. Tom is beautiful. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Tom is so gay. <laughs> Peter's gay. Tom is, Peter's dead. Tom is a mystery. The mystery is gonna be your death, honey. Who did it? Tom has secrets he doesn't want to tell me. Wow. And I wish he would. Oh, you'll take the secret to your grave, honey. Tom has someone to love him. He wants everyone to love him. That is a good thing. Mm. His shadow work on his face. Mm -hmm. The acting, like I have to give it up to him. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yikes. He's gonna be reliving that for a while. Look at yourself. He can't. This is kind of like the opening. Mm -hmm. These shots mm -hmm. and the mirrors and the shards and the. Because he probably, it's probably like a full circle thing, like he just keeps doing the same thing oh, to people. my fucking god. The end? And he gets away with it. Well, who do they think did it? Bitch, it's pretty obvious. Oh my god. Amazing movie, holy wow. fuck. My mind is gonna be like racing for days. I'm so happy we reacted to that because that is something I I want to look back on. It was so gay. It mm -hmm. was subtle. It was unique, intriguing. It was sexually charged. Mm -hmm. I was sexually mm -hmm. charged. It was Most importantly, electrifying. There were I I was feeling things in this movie that I haven't felt in current movies in a long time. Yeah. There was something so 90s about it. It was really eliciting a reaction from oh, me. Oh, I was 
feeling all the feelings, and I wanted there to be a love between Tom and Dickie. I know. Obviously, things did not work out. The, they truly took us on a fucking journey. I am this, obsessed. This is why I love reacting to movies for the first time, mm-hmm. because it's stuff like this where we can go back and, like, see, oh. like, how we felt, because this is going to be a new fave. Like, I'm like, as soon as we turn the camera off, I'm ordering the blu-ray oh we have point to. blank period the four of them matt jude gwyneth and kate oh my they, god hey they were so good an all-star, an all-star cast. cast i absolutely loved it i can completely see why it got five oscar nominations should have had more if you ask me i want to read the book me too i'm i've got to know more about mr ripley oh i don't even god. think that's really his name no but, he know. is not tom ripley no no tom rip r.i.p Lee. Yeah. That's him. Rest in peace. Wow. I'm so glad we watched that. Down in the comments, let's talk the talented Mr. Ripley. What other talents does he have? Oh my god. The the list goes on and on. Use a sequel. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Petty Pumpkins. Please do also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins because we want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay spooky. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys. Ha, 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 ha.